My name is Guy Kesterven and I've been a professional mountain bike reviewer for nearly 25 years and today I'm at the award-winning Leeds Bourbon Bike Park to review the latest Triple B version of Calibre's award-winning Boss Nut full suspension bike. Uh, this is the Tech Talk Round uh, detail spec and geometry check uh, to go with the live ride review. So make sure you watch the live ride review and there's also some background early ride stuff on Patreon, my subscription channel. So please consider uh, giving me some uh, support on there as well if you like what I'm doing. So what makes the Triple B so special? Two things, price, performance. This bike 1500 quid in the UK uh, if you've got your five pound go outdoors uh, sort of loyalty card and I mean in theory it's 2,000 pounds RRP but for that five pound uh, for that five pound card you save 495 pounds so I think most people are going to go for that um, I mean there are some cheaper bikes than this I mean they do a, an 1100 pound version standard boss nut but, which I'll talk about a bit uh, later on for 1500 quid this is just in a class of its own uh, Canyon all you'll get is the uh, around this price is the Neuron, which is now quite an old frame. It's a 29er, it's 130 mil travel, same as this, but it can't really compete on spec. I mean, I think the base model still has 2x10 or 2x11 Shimano on there. Uh, suspension's similar. I mean, it's not a bad bike and Canyon is beautifully made, but quite kind of old school geometry on there, more of an XC bike. Uh, the cheapest YT is the Capra base model. That's around two grand. There's a Boardman around this price, but it has right sketch Vittoria tyres, it hasn't got a dropper post and it's uh, old 11 speed NX, it's not 12 speed NX Eagle like this. The spec on here is absolutely outstanding, I mean starting from the front you've got a RockShox sector fork so it's still a 32 mil chassis, uh, it's not a 35 like a Pike but you've got a motion control damper in there, 140 mil travel on this uh, Triple B model, uh, it gets 130 mil travel recon on the standard boss nut. So you've got a little bit more travel on the front, but you've got decent damping control. Uh, you've got air cap, you know, in the air spring on it, it's easy to adjust. Yeah, it's a plastic air cap on the top, but you know, really does that matter? The fork actually works really, really well. Uh, bolt through axle, obviously and it's a short offset fork as well. So you've got that extra stability in the handling. Uh, You've got the absolute gem here, uh, Guide RE brakes, they first appeared on the original Boss Nut Triple B, almost as a mistake, uh, the factory actually ordered them by mistake rather than ordering standard guides, uh, but these are the super powerful e-bike brake uh, with the old code downhill caliper on there, so you've got masses of stopping power at a price point where you'd normally get a really compromised Shimano or Tektro or, you know, a SRAM level brake, which is like their pretty weak cross-country brake really certainly at this price point whereas the you know these are proper gravity stoppers and the control they give you that confidence is a massive uh, like i say you've got eagle technology which means it's 12 speed it's the more basic eagle so you haven't got an xd driver on the back end uh, which means it's an 11 tooth cog as the smallest but you're still going up to the 50 so you've got a hell of a gear range on there it's single ring specific and this is a dub crank that means it's an oversized axle uh, and it's a straight through axle with external pivot, you know, external bearings. So you've got good stiffness there and it's easy to, you know, if you did want to upgrade, it's got this separate spline system for the crank and chain ring. So it's basically, it's, it's a proper chain set. That's what I'm trying to get spit out here. It's not a cartridge bottom bracket like they use on the Sentry, which is the bigger travel caliber bike. Uh, it's a proper through axle, oversized axle chain set and it comes with a steel chain ring which is great for longevity uh, but you can replace it with an alloy one uh, if you want to save a bit of weight because that's what you know going by the old Pete, Keith Bontrager adage of uh, strong light cheap pick two this is definitely cheap and strong uh, over 15 kilos it's not that light but Again, there are other spec elements of this that hide that pretty well. On the back, you've got a fast rolling Trail Boss tyre. So it's a good tyre for letting the bike roll. It's a 2.4. So again, they are compared to the Boss Nut, which gets 2.3 inch tyres, you're getting a bigger volume tyre and it's tubeless ready. So you can drop the pressure down on these big i29 uh, STWTB rims. The idea behind the Triple B has always been to provide this absolutely full, full feature, everything you could want in a mountain bike. 
package at a killer price. So you've got 2.4 inch uh, tire at the fr back and then at the front you've got the new Vigilante and it's in a light high grip version and it's got the new Tritec triple compound, it's a high grip compound, it's tubeless, it's got a slash guard on it. You know, this, where you really need that control, you've got this big toothy 2.5 inch tire up front. And that really, really, together with the brakes, that really, really lets you fully exploit. What is a really well sorted handling package? And we've already talked about the short offset fork, uh, adds more stability, but you've got a 65.5 degree head angle. So it's already, you know, a pretty, it's already well ahead of the curve of most bikes around this price point. Normally getting an older frame with older geometry, but 65.5 degree head angle, 45 mil stem as standard. You've got 780 mil spank bar, so you've got plenty of width there for leap, you know, your power steering leverage. 460 mil reach on this large and 74 degree effective seat angle. Again, that's not absolutely massive. You could go steeper, more contemporary, but for a bike of this price, you mean, you're normally dealing with a 73, which, you know, more out of date numbers. And it just centers you nicely on the bike, to be fair. Um, you know, it's certainly not a, a buyer beware aspect of the bike. And the actual suspension kinematic is, you know, it's very similar to what they did in the original Boss Nut. You've got this little kicker link here, but again, it's a, you know, it's a really nice one piece forge in there, just rocking on the seat tube. Uh, and then at the back end, you've got a seat stay pivot there. But look at it, I mean, proper big chain stays. I mean, there's no, there's no twist, I'll, I'll show you. I mean, I don't know if you saw that lad just going off the drop in the background there, but uh, we'll be going off that later because it's always a good way to show how much the bike's sort of twisting and yawing about. Uh, so I'll, you know, we'll run through that and you'll see, you know, this bike is locked down. It feels really, really stiff. And, you know, it's, it's just really, really well balanced. You know, in terms of other finishing touches, you've got quick release collar, but you've got this KS dropper post. And it comes with a South Pole lever, so it's not the cheapest, you know, old school kind of vertical lever. It's a proper shifter style lever on there. So, you know, the dropper post is really easy to actuate. And you've got really good grips now. I mean, I think I, I think I bitched about Calibre's grips a bit in the first time in the first video I did. But now they've got that properly sorted. I mean, the only real giveaways on price in terms of a quick look at it. I mean, you've got a Monarch rear shock on the back. It's not a deluxe, so it's an older generation shock. But actually, these simpler Monarchs, uh, without all the sort of low-speed compression damping on there, A, it doesn't need it. It's really solid under pedaling. It's absolutely fine. There's no bounce or bobble on it. But also, because it's a simpler circuit in there, you actually get really, really good high-speed oil flow. So as you can see, I've got, you know, right to the end of the travel there, uh, doing the drop in the background off there. I think Ryan's going to demonstrate that now so uh, I didn't even plan that that was just a nice bit of luck uh, so yeah getting full stroke and really controlled set up at the back I mean it's not amazingly plush or anything like that it just really does the job well uh, so that works and also you've got external cable routing so brake and gears run externally whereas the dropper post is all still internally piped so that's nice and neat where it needs to be and but you have got external rather than internal cable routing but again it's a lot easier for servicing that way if you want to you know change the back caliper or whatever needs bleeding then happy days and even just another detail to pick up there even things like the fact that the code has the brake line inside the caliper there rather than outside just means the whole bike's a bit tougher uh, you know if you're chucking on an uplift or it's just living a hard life because i've ridden this a lot i mean you know again it's just a really really good fun bike to ride regardless of price and i've been hammering it all winter so uh the only thing I would say is, as you can see, there's a few paint spots coming through here. Our other cable kind of protects the chain a little bit. And also you want that tucked out, you want that tucked out the way there because it's in slight danger of catching those teeth there. And in general, calibre paint does tend to uh, suffer a bit more quickly than uh, other brands. So maybe get some, you know, homemade tape on there or get it in busy framed or if you're running a bag battery on it, like uh, I have been here for my lights, it will start to mark up a bit quicker than a more expensive frame. So bear that in mind. But otherwise, overall for the price, absolutely outstanding. I mean, watch the live ride video. That's the whole point of this bike. It's an absolute ripper for a total bargain price. I said I'd do a bit of detail on the uh, Boss Nut as well, which is the 1100 quid bike. Basically, same frame, 130 mil travel fork. So it's a tiny bit steeper in the head angle uh, and a little bit steeper in the seat angle. Uh, and it comes with narrower tyres. 
and it's an SX Eagle rather than NX Eagle transmission on it. But again, oh, and you don't get a dropper. But so it is, if you can afford that extra 400 quid, absolutely well worth going up to the triple B. But if you can't stretch to it, then for 1100 quid, that boss nut is an absolute bargain. Right, <laughs> it's getting more popular here. The lads are lining up for the drops. So uh, just say thank you very much for spending the time watching. Hope you've enjoyed the tech talk round, but as always, it's the live ride review where I really get to grips with the performance of the bike and can really kind of go into the details and why they matter in a uh, sort of real world situation. Always unscripted, totally honest, just based on my near 25 years of professional viewing experience, even though Calibre have actually paid for this edit. And there you go, that were a good noise. I don't know if you saw that at the corner of your eye, but yeah. It's kicking off here, so I better join in myself. Uh, thanks to Mavic, Endura, Race Face, Endura, Can't Pick Tartel, and Physic. And thanks to Crud Fenders and Crank Brothers for the kit used while testing as well. Thanks to Calibre for supporting the video. Thanks to Leeds Bike Park for letting me film here. It's an awesome place, whatever the weather. Just get here, fantastic car, fantastic trails, great way to kill some hours on the bike, whether you want to just, you know, rip some berms or learn to jump, whatever. It's got everything here, jump lines, single track, BMX park, pump track, absolutely superb facility and well-deserved winner of the MBR Trail of the Year Award. I'm Guy Kestivan. You've been watching Guy Kez TV. If you like what I'm doing, please consider sponsoring my Patreon channel, like these fine folk who will be scrolling up now. And I'd best get on this bike and get the live ride review done. Thanks a lot.